We're, we're going for flight number two now. Yeah, Look at Alan. This little beast. Uh, fits I'll find the right model on this radio. All right, so you've got the profile on each, of each one on that same transmitter. Yeah, that's cool. I don't know if you can probably see that. I can't really see it with these dodgy glasses on. Um, next, ground for a tilt. Tilt the tilt rotor. Oh, the wind's picking up, Alan. Are you sure you want to do this? Of course, that's the fun. That's the danger of yes. nearly crashing. Take it, take it, take it, take it. So that's the you call it the TMTR250. Yeah, T models. Tilt rotor, 250 size. Um, I've not seen this one go, but I've been told it's rapid. Well, it's just um, basically a self design thing. I was wanting a tilt rotor, and you couldn't really buy the ones that I wanted and the size that I wanted. So basically, mounted a servo here and bearing blocks with bearings to assist with the tilt. Um, just straight arms obviously going through there flange bearings from the inside so they don't slide out clamps yep. here so they can't slide in uh, and then this linkage is on the servo going onto the clamps so that's what pushes and pulls the flight controller is built into the Groutner receiver so that's your receiver and flight controller two speedos in the back for these two two speedos in the front for these two video transmitter Camera for the transmitter, area for the transmitter, uh, buzzer in case I lose it. Uh, I think that's it, and a lot of trickery with the mixing on the radio. Yes, you were sitting with your computer mucking about, weren't you? Yeah. Trying to get the thing programmed. Just so it's uh, telling it to do the right thing. Is that a three cell this one's running on? This is a four cell. Four cell? Yeah. Oh, it's quite big actually. Do we do, dude? Right, so uh, you've got normal quad mode. I need to activate it first. Oh, watch the throttle's not on. So that's normal quad mode. You go forward and backwards and, and left and right. And then when you switch it to this one, that's the tilt mode. So yeah. when you go forward, it'll tilt the blades, but it won't actually tell the flight controller it's going forward. So the flight controller doesn't actually know it's trying to lean forward. Mm -hmm. So it's keeping itself pretty level and the servo's just making it suck itself forward or back. So it actually has brakes on it, you can do that. Yeah. Also, you can fly it in rate mode, if you like rate mode, so that when it doesn't auto level, so a lot of when you're doing FPV, it's uh, rate mode's pretty good. But then you kind of think, well, what's the point in having a tilt motor if you're just going to fly it in uh -huh. rate mode? What was that? I just uh, tripped over it. Just my expensive battery. Just, yeah, that's fine. No, no problem. I thought I, I thought I stood on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> you're all right. Um, yeah, so... So a lot of people like it in tilt and um, rate mode, but then the tilt's not working in rate mode because it wouldn't work right. But what you can do is I've devised another switch that you can switch and have two different amounts of tilt on rate mode or right. on normal quad mode. But when you're in a tilt mode, it just does it like that, or you can have it tilted a little bit, none. Cool. Enough talking. Let's see the damn thing fly. That's your sort of, as you would expect a quadcopter to do. Yeah. Sort of following the batteries like that. But when you put it into tilt mode, right, it doesn't actually go forward and backwards like that, it'll go. Jeez, I lost sight of it there. <laughs> so you've kind of got brakes on it as well, because you can kind of. Ah! Alright, I'll zoom out, now I can see it. Right, you can go for it. <laughs> No, you just play with it. <laughs> it flies so good on tilt mode. There's just more should be like these. You should be able to buy these. They're absolutely amazing. Well, you should be building it. Said, building it for people. Think about making a CMTR kit up. Well, maybe you should. Jeez, I'm losing sight. That it. it's so quick. There it is. It's so quick and small. Eh? I know. It's also quite funny because uh, most quadcopters look quite sort of. Sleek and aerodynamic, but usually it's like a brick. <laughs> oh, a bus or something. There's a flying bus. This needs to be quite square for the link. You just have a bit of room in that. No, I know, I know. It's small. When you see the other tilt rotors, they're a lot bigger than that, so it's a, there's a lot of tech in such a small space. Aye. I'm 
probably going to put different motors on it, possibly for a bit more power. Oh, aye, because it needs it right enough. Aye. Go on, give us, give it a burst of acceleration. Wait until I get into position. Right, go for it. Just, just go diagonally that way so I can keep you in frame. <laughs> That's madness. Nice yeah, piece of kit though. Like, it just looks weird when you see the blades like. Stop leaving me behind you. I've lost it again! You would get some good filming with that if you had a, a recording camera on that. I can record through the goggles, but you're just getting like the low res Aye. camera image that comes yeah. back. It's so just it's weird when you see it going forward and it doesn't lean. Yeah. It is, it's odd, isn't it? You kind it? of expect that, don't you? Of course you like do, yeah. Like a wallopy, and it just looks so much more clumsy once you've seen it the other way. And it, it's like it takes more to sort of get going somehow as well. Yeah. I suppose as well if you're flying, if you're flying like that, you've got more air, obviously more drag on it, because it's like a sort of 45 degree wall you're trying to get through there. Yeah, it's like yeah. a sail, a hard carbon well, sail. If you do that, it just stays flat and it'll sort of cut through a bit there. And the angles your blades go at when it's tilting would be roughly the equivalent of the angle a normal quad would be if, if it's yeah, accelerating forward, I guess. Might be even more, actually. It seems quite... It looks 45 degrees anyway. Yeah. Maybe. We'll get a different angle, shall we? I like the after. Yeah, I see that. Go for it. <laughs> Where should it go? <laughs> Bit cool following the hill down. I usually fly, would like to fly a bit more FPV. Really. So this is the one you do FPV with? Usually, yeah, I don't usually fly like that for flying the sight, but just for the video, mate. Do you, uh. I'm not a social if I'm sitting in my goggles and not really speaking. I don't know. Do you ever fly your Y6 FPV or is that just uh, not really I your cup of tea? Yeah. This one would be totally illegal in a, a 250 racing scene. Don't you think? Alan, you're gonna do it. We'll do the, the trench run from uh, A New Hope. Go on, down the road. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> Come back the other way. Holy <laughs> shit. That's not the trench run. It's pretty small, pretty quick. Yeah. It is, I. Hard to see what it's facing. That's that mad. Volt is going right. Yeah, okay, we better bring it in then. Come in for a landing. What's it saying? Under voltage. Under voltage, oh. Better turn your light bulbs off then. Get out. I'm gonna get out of the some shadow out of the video. That's an awesome piece of kit, Alan. That's the um that's why the transmitter knows that you've got low voltage because it monitors the voltage through this through the telemetry module that's cool that is cool, cool. Altitude, 33 meter. 33 meters meters meter where does she get her grammar from 33 meters get that thing told Time. Receive low, sir. Altitude, 33 meter Me Yeah, but that would make sense. So it sense. gives you a lot of information, it's good. It did, yeah, it's pretty decent. Apart from her grammar, everything else is good. Meter, 
Man, 33 that's meter. The, that's the joke. It's pure 33 meter, eh? <laughs> meter. Pure flown 33 meter. Usually, yeah. Uh, How long you had that? Oh, a couple of years. <laughs> the joke is, I think uh, one of my mates crashes quite heavily in the field and it's sort of a uh, altitude minus one meter. It's just buried <laughs> yeah. in. The, into Flight the time 12.3 seconds. <laughs> Speed. 150 feet per second. Downwards. Probably more than that. <laughs> yeah, downwards. Straight down like an effing dart. That's good. Good <laughs> fun. May I get the goggles on now. I might go for an FPV flight, I think. Right, so to wrap things up, you would build that for someone? That could be done. Yeah. I mean, you can't have all the fun yourself, seriously. No, someone else has good. to have a shot. Yeah, yeah. I like it. The thing is, it kind of contradicts what I'm saying about the, the gimbal on the other one because when you go forward, it doesn't tip, so you don't get the same Aye. kind of feeling that you're swooping around. But it, but you I can turn know, that you, off you though. Just, yeah, you can have what you want. It's like I mean, it's sort of loads of different flying modes in one machine, so you can sort of do what you want with it. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're not flying at tilt, then there's probably no point in flying it because then you just might as well fly a lighter machine. Yeah. The, the bearing, the, actually, the bearings alone are pretty heavy um, but I needed a bit I needed the big bearings for just the room round it for the yeah. linkages and stuff yeah. like that but you can see it's pretty blowy the day and it wasn't really too badly upset was it no, I mean it's right. not a calm day it's not like see the tree there it's not a calm day yeah that tree had branches on it at the lower bit this morning I know <laughs> one of them right that'll do us thanks for coming out Alan and showing us your stuff it's all right and uh, yeah, get on to Tame Models and order some stuff, even though he probably doesn't want to get rid of it. I'm not there right now. No. <laughs> See you later. See you later.